Hey, what is up you guys? It's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. I didn't put on any makeup today. I'm wearing my brand new Attack on Titan t-shirt that I got for Christmas. Merry Christmas to those who celebrate. I do. So here I am. And um, I haven't been on Adopt Me in a second. I mean, I've been on every day maintaining my login day streak and getting my advent day calendar prizes because I that's been, you know, at the top of my list every morning. Um, I got sick for a little bit from like some food poisoning or something. And then um, I kind of fell off the wagon with the content creation. And then we had holiday stuff. I've done like a lot of Christmases so far. <laughs> um, you know, Zach's family's Christmas, my family's Christmas today. People are coming over for our, our family Christmas. Like, so woohoo, we've just been so busy. Hi Pookie, hello Coral, how are you doing? And let's head into Adopt Me because they've updated this to say free Adopt Me. Happy holidays, winter sale up to 30% off Adopt a Harp Seal. I don't know what that is. Place your own Santa throne, claim your final Advent Day calendar prizes. Oh, ooh, okay, they gave us the Christmas pup bait, but I, I already got it, okay, I got all the prizes. But first, before we place the bait, guys, look at this. In the past couple days, I have caught some items or some pets right here. Do you guys see them? First, I need to turn on the music because it's a little bit quiet. Um, we've gotten ourselves some prizes. <laughs> I keep on calling them prizes. Um, but I didn't want to reveal what they were until I was on stream with you guys. So take a guess. What do we think are in these little um, traps? Are they traps? They're like little loot houses. What do we think? Merry Christmas, everybody. Hello. How are you guys doing? I cut off all my nails this morning because I got Zach Guitar Hero for Christmas, like the 2007 one, and um, we've been playing, so I cut off all my nails so I could play. Um, how many eggs do I have? Let's see. Yeah, because we're going to be opening those today, too. Um, eight. I have eight of them, and they are tradable, so I will be able to see. You think bucks? Well, normally, the only thing that would be caught underneath here is a pet. So I think it's going to be a pet. Let's open up one of these. I'm going to close my eyes and let's open together. Did you guys close your eyes? Probably not. <gasps> a toasty red panda. Oh, <laughs> I don't think I have one of these. Let, let's just type in red panda. I cut off my nails, so now I'm having trouble typing. <gasps> Our first toasty red panda. Okay, and then let's place the Christmas pudding bait, oh, 25 minutes. So we'll come back and get that. And then let's see what's in this one. Merry Christmas, Megan, love you. Thank you for the 16 months, Amy, love you too. All right, let's see what's underneath this one. Another toasty red panda. Oh my gosh, perfect. All right, so let's get ourselves two Christmas pups um, and then let's go to the Winterfest area and see what we got cooking. Let's see. Am I going to name it? That's a great idea. I should name it. Now, as we can see, I did miss day 17 and day 9. I don't know how I missed those because I didn't lose my login day streak and I haven't missed any days either. So I don't know what happened. Um, right now, my login day streak is 32. I finally feel like we're actually rebuilding. Um, so let's go teleport to the prize door. Look, guys, the gingerbread mouse. So this will only be available today. Um, I don't think you had to collect anything else to get to it. I think you just had to collect, you know, the 25 one. So here we guys, like, so cute. Little gingerbread mouse. If you guys have alt accounts, make sure you claim it on every single account. What is it? It is an ultra rare. And if we come over here, I feel like I can collect this. Or maybe I just got it. Maybe I just put it in my inventory already. Because, mm, I don't know. But yeah, I missed two days. So sad. So, so sad. Um, have I played the Overlook Bay update? I have. I have been playing that. Um, <clears throat> cute. Yes, it's just so cute. The gingerbread mouse. Just freaking adorable. And then, guys, do we know what's in these future eggs? Comment below if you know. Because let me check the Discord. The Adopt Me Discord. Because sometimes they tell us in Flourish what's in them. I don't want it to be spoiled, though. Maybe I open one and then I can see... Um, what the tea is because i have eight of them oh boy it's unhatched <laughs> i'm nervous do we know what's in them the neon is pink oh cute all right 
It's an eggnog dog. I think I saw that on Twitter and then I was sad it got spoiled, but I was hoping that there would be a little bit more. So let's see. Everyone's saying it's an eggnog dog. So let's take a look-see here and see what we got. Uh, Neely, thank you for the 11 months. Hope you're having the most amazing Christmas. Thank you, Neely. I hope you are too. The eggnog dog, guys. This is actually super cute. I didn't love the one that I saw on Twitter. Um, I think I saw a neon version of it, which I just did not love. But this is super cute. And they all have the same thing in them. Let's see. Origin. Halloween like is there a future Christmas egg Easter maybe it's gonna be underneath holiday or winter royalty party Scottish sky castle spring fest oh my gosh there's so many oh ice cream hermit crab oh my gosh I'm missing some of these hermit crabs guys <laughs> okay um winter 2023 Okay, so as we can see, the eggnog dog. That is the only thing um, obtained on Hatched One. We got it on Christmas. Um, this is the one I saw, the neon. I didn't love the neon version of it. I just thought it was just a little bit not, like, super exciting. Uh, why is the Honey the Unicorn backpack off sale? I don't think I... Um, great question. I'll investigate. The UGC? I'll investigate. I didn't know it was. Thank you for letting me know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just don't like how all the items are neon on the eggnog dog. Like, I think that the cinnamon should have not been neon, in my opinion. The honey backpack was exclusive, UGC. Um, oh yeah, it depends which one, because there's a couple of them. Um, you got a polar bear for Xmas future egg? Huh? Okay, let me see, let me see. Let me go to the Adopt Me Discord and see what they put because sometimes they'll put info in on the influencer stuff so we know what's up um weekly news uh oh they put in their weekly news okay fireworks cycle okay so look, we're gonna watch the weekly news together in a second hold on i'm still reading Sorry, still reading. Um, okay. Wowie. Okay, so... I think that there's new information on the Adopt Me um, world. Let me go to Twitter. Or X. Because I think that there's new news. Oh, happy Monday. Time for weekly news. Just because it's Christmas doesn't mean the weekly news stops. Okay, so let me silence this. So we have this new news, Happy Adopt Me Weekly News. So this is going to be for Thursday's update. You can buy for Merry Christmas, everyone. The last week of Adopt Me's winter event is on its way. What up? I'm Matt. And while Who's today Matt? may be Christmas, I I I've Matt. still got some news he for you He sounds a lot like Jesse, not just accent-wise. So. Coming this week is a brand new ultra-rare pet that you can buy for 58,000 like gingerbread. It's the cute and cuddly snow monkey. We've that also got the rare stocking stroller okay. for 6,900 gingerbread. Okay. And since 2023 <gasps> is coming to a oh close, my gosh, we're celebrating so cool. the new year with some New Year's items. Okay. Like these Love 2024 it. glasses for 2,024 gingerbread. Mm. Then there's the legendary fireworks cycle for 99,000 okay. gingerbread. And last but certainly not least, the ultra rare celebration firework launcher, oh. which actually lets you launch fireworks. That's so cool. Into the sky. Okay, I we're love that. We're currently in the middle of our massive winter sale. Okay, we're in the middle There's of a massive winter sale. There's a bunch of Robux items that you can currently get at a discounted price, and it's some showing sale a fly poster. Are those for sale. Bundles that will give you extra items if you purchase bucks. Let me so see. So check them out before the sale ends on Thursday. Then this weekend, starting from Friday and lasting up until Tuesday, the week after, we've got a double bucks, double bucks. aging weekend. It's the last week. Anything else? And you'll be able to age up your pet. Now, before I go, I have to remind you to go over to the advent calendar the first chance you get. Today's the only day that you can get the gingerbread mouse. Yes. Make sure you get it while you have the chance because Love you it. won't get another one. Oh. 
Okay, so that's the news. All right, loves it, loves it. So here we are in Adopt Me. Let's turn back on the volume. Okay. Is that too loud? I turned it up in my ears because I feel it, felt like I couldn't hear you before. Oh, the eggnog dog got all stinky. Let's go to here because it said something about like a harp whale. I'm not sure. Um, harp whale, harp whale. Harp whale? What is a harp whale? Oh, harp seal. <laughs> okay, I think I already knew that that was in the game. So, it is what it is. Um. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Yes, Merry Christmas, everyone. You can keep the egg. Yeah, I'm like wondering if keeping the egg would be better than not keeping the egg. Okay, so let's go. So here we got all these new pets. Okay, so if you're just now tuning in at the top of the advent day calendar, you get this gingerbread mouse for free. Grab it on all your alt accounts. Don't forget. Um, you got your pudding pup bait. Mine right now is cooking up a little pudding pup, which I'm excited to get. And then we have the eggnog dog, which comes out of the future Christmas egg. He's so happy, but he's so stinky. And then we have more of the future Christmas eggs, which I don't know. Do you guys think I should hatch them? Can I continue to get more future Christmas eggs? That's a question. How's the update going in your opinion? Good, it's going good. Oh, I'm in a private server. Let's go to a public server and let's play a game of this um, Frost Claws Fury to see if we can get an egg. Um, Play. Do I like the Christmas update? Yeah. You start playing Wonderfest, it's so fun. Yeah, the Overlook Bay update is amazing. You look so beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm, doing, I'm not wearing like any makeup today, not even a little bit. Um, I just like to relax on Christmas. It's a, it's a long day in general. <laughs> um, so I always get really sleepy on Christmas, so I just wanted to not wear any makeup. <laughs> okay, so how much longer do these have? 15 minutes a piece? 15 minutes a piece? Okay, so I wonder, can we still get these for future eggs? What do you guys think? I heard it's worth more if you keep the egg. I feel like it would be. I think it's better to keep the egg because then when it's not there anymore, you can have more variety and use it for trading to get more good things. I agree. Um, do I like the Frost Call Fury story game? I do. I wish <laughs> that it was shorter. Not that it was shorter, that I could skip more of it. They added in some ways to skip some of the um, cutscenes, which I like, but I also just wish I could skip more. Let me in this last spot. All right. How do you get the egg? The egg is won by playing the Frostclaw Fury minigame. Um, I think I read on the Discord, let me see, that they increase the eggs. Please don't order skip at least 50% of players must lobby, must vote skip. Oh, okay. So yeah, there's only 33% chance of it. You can, you heard we can get them until January 4th. Ooh, okay. Um, there's only 33% chance of getting the actual egg whenever you play so we might not get one this time but i figured it'd be a good way to kill some time until we get our pudding pop i can also go through the quickest techniques for this i feel like my webcam is like so low like what's going on here is that better okay that's better you love watching my videos thank you thank you thank you my favorite pet in the new update the gingerbread mouse is so cute super super cute you already got an egg. That's awesome. Oh, Hugo, thank you for being a member for two months. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you, too. I hope you and your family are having a great one. You still got an egg earlier? Oh, good. It's nice of you to stream on Christmas. <laughs> I'm just wanting, like, I just feel bad I haven't been around on YouTube. It's been such a busy holiday for me. Um, Leah's coming over in, like, 45 minutes. So we can exchange gifts, and then she's going to spend Christmas uh, here with my family. Um, so I'm busy. How long am I going to stream? Not too long. Not too long. Got, got a lot to do. We're hosting today. Okay. So the fastest way to do this part is just to come over here and just wiggle around, slide against the walls, and collect every little thing that you can. 
as fast as you can. You have more than ample time to do this part, so it doesn't really take too long. Like this. Okay, we got some apples, some snowballs. <laughs> Okay, another apple. My gosh, we got a lot of apples. We have six apples. Oh my goodness, okay. And then the last drawer is over here. A sword, all right. And then you can hang out by Miss Elto. I like to hang out like kind of right here, like at the very end of her spawn radius where she'll spawn like an E so you could talk to her. Um, and then run over to those beds, you guys know. Um. How do you get the future egg? By playing this mini game. It appears in the spot with the bookshelves. Level 999 GAT. See, right at the edge of her spawn. Haha. Ha. See? That is how you become ultra prepared. Um You got a whole set of hairs. That's awesome. You can only get the eggnog dog from that yes. Will I be doing it twice? I'm just gonna play this once. Okay, let's see. We only have 60% health. And I was eating the cookie, so... This is where the chandelier gets dropped. I think this is one of the scenes that you can skip, but I'm not sure. The hardest part is where you have to run through the tunnel and don't touch the spikes. Yeah, that's hard, but I've seen people run up the sides. Maybe we'll try that. You got an apple pencil for Christmas? That's awesome. I love my apple pencil. Yeah, what did you guys get for Christmas if you celebrate? Or any other holiday gifts for any other holidays you celebrate? I got this Attack on Titan t-shirt. And then Zach also got me all the Attack on Titans on Blu-ray. All the episodes. And then I also got um, a signed copy of Red Swan, which is the Season 3 opening. Um, and then I got a pair of shoes. They're these cute purple loafers. And I got a pair of black shoes. And they have like these like spikes on them. So they're really cool. Um, and then I got a... Bakrap butterfly, which is what I get every single year because I collect them. Um, and then we got the dogs some stuff too. You got a vlogging camera? Oh, that's so exciting. You got an iPhone 11? Oh my gosh. A Barbie dream house? Oh, that's cool. Oh my gosh, you guys all got iPhones? Somebody give me your iPhone because I have an old one. So I need to get a new one. You got a 3D pin? Oh, bubble skin care, Nike's drawing set, slime. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love slime. Okay, that's cool. Taylor Swift cardigan. You got Taylor Swift cardigan. Okay, like an album? We have good news and bad news. Bad news. Nerf gun. Ooh, that's fun. Is the ginger mouse tradable? I think it is. It didn't say it wasn't. Somebody else press skip. Okay. You got Melanie Martinez concert tickets? Oh, Lee and I are going to that concert. Um, let's see. Okay. What can I get? I guess I can get another apple for 10 snowballs. This shopping spot also takes a really long time. Snow cone machine. Oh my gosh, one year I got a snow cone machine too. I loved it. I made so much shaved ice. It was so yummy. Um, got some money Montclair stuff. Ooh. Butter slime. Oh my gosh, I love slime. 
Another dog plushie. Cute. Olivia Rodrigo tickets. Oh my gosh. You want to see a Taylor Swift concert? Yeah, that'd be really cool. I'd like to see that too. Um, Mini Claw Machine Pokemon plushies. Ooh. That is exciting. trust what's going on here miss elto and i will keep looking around you're gonna watch home alone one and two tonight that's fun i love the home alone movies all right so let's go ahead and collect these bed pieces again guys if you have 100 percent um health sleeping in the beds doesn't do anything for you it just takes opportunities away from others so maybe don't sleep in beds if you have 100 percent health um, because, you know, it, it only heals you. There's not another benefit to it. Look, see, this level 100 gat guy is, like, hovering over the beds. Sorry, guys, I need it. I have 90% health, which, you know, I know that person has 20 and 80, but... There we go. What's Home Alone? It's a movie. It's an old movie. It's fun. It's a good one. <laughs> you, you, you got in Jet Stop? Oh, that's cool. Is it raining where you are? It was raining all yesterday, but it's not raining right now. You celebrate Hanukkah and you have a tradition where you get gifts and you got a Victoria's Secret PJ and 400 bucks. Whoa, that's awesome. That's a lot of money. All right. For this part, just hit as many snowmen as you can because I think you get, um, you get gingerbread whether you kill them or not. I think you, as long as you just like hit them, you you are included in the gingerbread. Let's see. Ah! Okay, so far so good. Seven survivors left. Oh my gosh, I'm like missing every hit on this guy. Okay. So far, so good. Some people like to stay and beat all the, the monsters. I normally just jump in the hole. Luckily, there wasn't a lot of monsters left. All right, so this is the part somebody said they struggled with. Immediately watch out. There's literally a hole right here. So before you start jumping, like, look how much time you have to think about your movement. Don't jump in that hole. I've seen people just run along the walls, too. Um, maybe you struggle with parkour. So let's try that. Let's try not jumping. Let's try running just along the walls. Like, I think you could run up above the spike if you wanted to. Um, then I think you can do the same with like this. Like, if you don't, if you're not good at the, if you're not good at this part, you can squeeze through here. Like that. All right. And then this is where the egg spawns if there is an egg. I'm not seeing an egg, we need to escape. but Miss Elto is yeah, no. Yeah, and don't eat the cookies, guys, because they are poison. They're poison cookies, so you don't want to eat those. So we didn't get an egg this time, but that's fine. This is where it would be. 
So you want to go and you want to click E where they are. Like, and, or E or like, you know, tap with your finger if you're on mobile. Um... On these, obviously, you want to stand behind the bookshelf. And then you want to make sure you're not behind the ones that he's going to push down. Just immediately start running towards another bookshelf. Look, he's kind of facing that one, so maybe he'll push that one down. Nope. And this is where you want to start following Santa once the third bookshelf is about to fall. So if he cuts this way, you don't want see you don't want to go that way because you want to try to get past this as fast as possible. Because look, now they're they're in the danger zone. So you just want to try to follow Santa. And now we know he's gonna go to that one because it's the last one that he hasn't lifted up yet. Perfect. And then there'll be a little cutscene. Where he pushes Santa out a window. I will turn you all into statues with my frost breath. <laughs> Starting with you, Santa! This, you've only made it this far, and this is where you die? Oh, no. Yeah, this next part is a little tricky. It's a little hard. Um, let's see. So let's, sli let's slide down to safety. Or so you think. Hop out this way. Now, I like to try to see, so on keyboard, it's WASD. People weren't sure how to do it. Obviously, you could see, like, okay, that one's in the middle, so you don't want to be in the middle. Y you can kind of take a sneak peek on, like, what's coming up. Like, see, I could see down there there's nothing coming up. Oh, but there was. See, and this one, this part's hard. This part you want to make sure you have ample health for, because I'm never good at this part. And I don't know if it's just me. See, I can see there's one on that side right there coming up. So I want to stick, stick over here. But it's still really tough. We did it! Okay. And then the final boss battle is right here. <laughs> no, there's, nowhere to run. there's nowhere to run. So, he'll spawn in some icicles. So just avoid the circles. Don't worry about running around too much. Just move out of the way of the one. And as long as you're not covered by any of the red, you'll be completely fine. And then there he spawns little guys. There we go. Hey, always help your teammates, guys. Then you're going to run over and press the E button wherever he is. Because you're going to try to melt him with the eggnog. And then it's just like a rinse and repeat type of deal. Whenever he does that again, that yeah, again, and then he drops something, that means that there's going to be, like, minions. Or mobs, or whatever you want to call them. Then he's going to jump over. And, um, he hasn't done the ice breath one yet. Is he going to do it? Maybe he's not doing the ice breath today. Oh, more of these. Okay, yeah, the ice breath. Always just stand on the opposite side of him. The opposite side of the circle. If you get caught in the circle, run the opposite way from which the circle is going. So if the circle's going this way and you get caught in it, run that way. That's going to be the fastest way to get out of the circle and also as close to him as possible. Like, you don't want to try to escape the circle over there. Like, near the back of it. Like, near the end of it over here. Because you will die. So run immediately inward and then backwards out of it. Ooh. 
That was a little hard. Hey, and then there we go, guys. We've defeated Frostclaw. It's that easy. Not Santa, I know. He like pushed Santa out a window. A window. <sighs> I haven't forgotten you. There we go, win. So we got 8,835 gingerbread. It took us 16 minutes. Um, and there's our stats. Nice. No thanks. Let's go see if we got our pudding pup. That's what I want to see. Um, you've never been on a live before? Well, Ashley, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so let's see. Let's go to these toys. Mm. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got our pudding pups. Let's check them out. So they're ultra rare. Why is he like flaming? Are they all flaming like that? Do they all have like little blue flames? Are they steaming? Are they magical? Very cute. Okay, so they're ultra rare. And then somebody was asking if the gingerbread mouse was tradable. And yes, it is. It doesn't say it's not. So it definitely is. Did you guys get your Christmas pudding pup? Did you guys get any of your other little pets? Which one is your favorite pet from this update? Let me know. Um, thank you guys so much for watching today's stream. I'm going to go because it's Christmas and I'm going to spend it with my family. Uh, and you guys should too. So thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to hashtag stay PG, stay kind. And I will talk to you guys next time.